Right, we're nearly there. One of the biggest events in the sporting calendar. Nearly upon us tonight, the Kansas City Chiefs face the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 58. It's taking place under the lights of Las Vegas for the first time. Pop star Taylor Swift has turbocharged interest. American football's biggest game with her fans hoping she'll make it from Japan, where she's been performing in time to cheer on her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. From the US, Nesta McGregor reports. <laughs> Las Vegas, known for putting on a show. Welcome to Vegas! In a rematch from four years ago, will it be victory again for the Kansas City Chiefs or revenge for the San Francisco 49ers? A city gripped by football fever. Go Chiefs! Symptoms include arguments, even between lifelong friends. Bang, bang, Niner gang. I think they still holding some ill will. Get that out your soul, because it's going to eat you up. You got to let Super Bowl 54 go, because we got some more where that came from. Well, all I'm going to say is people like him always dwell in the past. So I'm going to let him keep talking about what he's talking, and we'll let the game do what it do. After a week of build-up, tonight the focus will switch from the strip to a venue which is hosting Nevada's first ever Super Bowl. This is the Allegiant Stadium in all its glory. This is what two billion pounds gets you, known as the greatest arena on earth. 65,000 fans is covered, which means we are protected from the elements. And it's a fitting venue for the biggest day in the US sporting calendar. There are still tickets left if you have a few thousand pounds to spare. If you haven't, there are other things to do for the estimated 300,000 extra visitors this weekend. This is the Super Bowl experience where fans can replicate being their heroes. And some games, it just comes down to the final kick. Have I still got it? Never in doubt. Although later tonight, it's more likely a quarterback's arm will prove the decider. In Brock Purdy, the 49ers have a player who continues to silence his doubters, while the Chiefs' Patrick Mahomes is one of the best to ever do it, thanks in part to Mum. He has never not thrown something for me to catch, whether it's an Easter egg or a pair of socks. So I'm going to say you were his first coach, so you, you get all the credit. Absolutely, and I used to throw the ball as far away from him as he, he could, so it'd give me more time to read my book. On the subject of time, someone without much of it is Usher. The R&B singer is performing the halftime show, a 30-year career squeezed into less than 15 minutes. Peace up. A town down. <laughs> At this celebrity event, who might join him on stage is what everyone is talking about. I mean, if he was to bring out Beyonce and get a little um, on stage dance with the U chain, that would be cute. But I don't think he needs to bring anybody out. Like, that's his moment. Oh, I know he could do it. I'm definitely, look, he's from the 1900s like me. I know he's going to kill it. I'm expecting a lot of camaraderie, a lot of friendship up there, so it should be cool. It's us, sir. He can do whatever he wants. Um, he has the hits. We guys have some surprises from Atlanta. I already kind of know who it is, but Another question which remains unanswered is whether Taylor Swift will be at the game to support the Chiefs and her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Word at the party is she will be there. Nesta McGregor, BBC News, Las Vegas.